wandering through New York City and I came across a man who was a gambler. He actually poked his head out of an alley and said, come here. I said, me? He said, yeah, you, come here. I said, well, what can I do for you, sir? And he says, how would you like to make some money? I said, I don't know what it is, but whatever it is, I'm not into it. He says, no, 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 no. This is a little gambling game with three cards called the three card Monty. And if you have a sharp eye, you can win a lot of money. If you don't have a sharp eye, you might lose a dollar or two. So tell me a little more about this before I start putting up money. He says, well, the three cards are uniquely printed. One of them has a big red diamond printed on its face. He said, the second one also has a big red diamond printed on its face. He said, but the third one has a blue diamond. And he said, the blue diamond card is the money card. As long as you know where the blue diamond is, you'll win a dollar. If you don't, you'll lose a dollar. Well, I thought that was reasonable, and I was about to say it was on the top. When I saw him cheat, he did a little sleight of hand and moved that blue card underneath to the bottom of the deck. So I said, okay, I'm going to play your game with you, and I'm going to teach you a very valuable lesson. The blue card is on the bottom. He said, well, then you owe me a dollar. Well, I could have sworn I had seen him put it on the bottom, but I thought, well, maybe it's not on the bottom, but it's probably right where it was before. And on the top, he says, well, you owe me another dollar. Well, then I knew if it wasn't on the bottom and it wasn't on the top, there's only one place it could be, right? It was in the middle. He says, you owe me another dollar. And I said, wait a second. If it's not on the bottom, it's not on the top, it's not in the middle. This is like that shell game. There is no win. There, there is no blue card. You, you, you put it away somewhere. He says, you owe me another dollar. It's right there on the bottom. I said, okay, I'm going to get you with logic. He said, you only have one blue card, right? He says, that's right. I said, the blue card is on the bottom. Is that correct? He says, that is correct. I said, then it cannot possibly be up on the top. He says, you owe me another dollar. I said, if it's on the bottom and on the top, it couldn't be in the middle. He says, you owe me another dollar. I said, wait a minute. That's three blue cards. A minute ago, I saw three red cards. You've got more than three cards there. You just shuffle them all around. So he counted them real slow. One, two, three. He says, you owe me another dollar. I said, that's it. I give up. Seven dollars and 45 seconds is not my idea of a good time. He says, I'll tell you what, you look like a nice guy. I'm going to give you a chance to break even, double or nothing. I should have run. But I said, okay, tell me a little bit about what's involved. He says, well, one of the cards has a red diamond printed on it. I'll give you that one. He says, one of them has a blue diamond on it. I'll give you that one. All you have to do is tell me the color of the glass card and you'll owe me nothing. If you don't, you'll owe me double or $14. Now, if you were in my place that day, what color would you have said? Red. Red. Would you have said red as well? I said blue. You would have said blue. Either way, you both would have owned $14. It's green. 